don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're we'll gonna be playing a Sega Genesis. Today's episode of Memory Lane. We're gonna be playing NBA Jam for the Sega Genesis, along with the Game Genie. So we're gonna combine those two together in some kind of evil, crazy, orchestrated hacks that we can perform on the NBA Jam. And this is actually NBA Jam Tournament Edition, but in here. Okay, that definitely is the tournament edition. I completely forgot about that. I, th I thought I had NBA Jam, the regular NBA Jam, but apparently that is the tournament edition. That's good, because the tournament edition is actually better. So we have NBA Jam tournament edition, and we're going to be hacking away at that with the Game Genie using the, our Game Genie manual right here. We'll see if we actually have that in here. Let's find out. And it looks like, uh... Looks like this manual is from, from 1991, so if you look here, there is no NBA Jam game here. There's NHL Hockey, there's OutRun, so we're gonna have to resort to using the internet to find the proper NBA Jam codes, and just so you know, this insert right here I actually printed out myself because I originally did not have a uh, case to this game at all. So I printed it out and I put the insert in just some random empty case that I had. And it looks pretty good, it's not bad. So uh, let's head over to the Sega Genesis and let's play some NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Alright, so here we have our Sega Genesis right here. We have our that's on the Nintendo 64 right next to it, and you see we have the Game Shark. Uh, we're gonna be doing eventually future episodes with the Game Shark hacks for the uh, Nintendo 64. See what kind of crazy stuff we can pull off. But for now, what we're gonna be doing is creating a Mega Power, known as NBA Jam Tournament Edition, and the Game Genie combined. You never know what kind of crazy stuff you're gonna see. Here we go. Are you ready? Unstoppable. That was insane. Did you feel that? Such massive electricity, and we do have a bit of a dust build up here. You know what? Before we play, I hate dust. I'm gonna clean that off. So we have our uh, microfiber cloth over here. We're gonna just give this a nice quick dusting over here. I always like to clean underneath the system, make sure it's nice and clean. It always bothers me to have an accumulation of dust. I always try to clean this at least once a week. But the dust, you know, when you have a lot of stuff, it becomes harder and harder to keep it clean. So that looks a little bit better. So let's insert this into the Sega Genesis, and let's head over to the uh, CRT, and let's play some NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Alright, here we are playing NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Alright, so apparently in this game there is a master code that we have to enter in order to use the, the uh, Game Genie. So let's see if we can get that entered in and see how this works. Alright, so that is the master code up there on top. You must Enter that in in order to uh, play. Alright, so the next code that we will enter in is probably 
clear one is always on fire. Let's try that out. That would be PFXW, as you can see there. PEZ. Trying to read this across the room. This was not inside my manual, so the uh, Game Genie manual that I have is from like 90, uh, 91, before this game even came out. And let's see what other uh, other codes we have here. So there's a lot of different codes you can actually enter in. Okay, so player one is faster. Let's try that also. Okay, PEV. See, PEV two. Player one has powered up super dunks. So I guess we can enter that in. What the hell, let's just try it out. See what exactly what happens here. Make sure you get the right codes. You don't want any uh, freezing or crazy stuff happening. As you saw in uh, Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo, I'm not sure if uh, you guys saw that or not, but I played that game with the Game Genie with Super Nintendo, and there was a code that was bricking the game, which is pretty bad. Alright, we'll just leave it at that for now. See uh, what we get. And... Well, that didn't work. I'm gonna give the uh, game a little bit of a cleaning, I guess. All right, here we are back. Hopefully uh, this game works now. We did a cleaning on it. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it works. All right, we got the Sega logo. That's a good sign. NBA Jam Tournament Edition, all right. All right, looks everything is looking good now. Oh my, he's on fire! Got the awesome introduction right there. Let's see if we can uh, censor this a little bit. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Got the awesome title screen. I love the music in this game. Yeah, let's we'll enter our initials in. See, game in Palooza Empire, GPE. I remember back, back in the 90s, the go-to team was either the Chicago Bulls or the Pistons. Well, we'll stick with the Chicago Bulls. Scotty Pippen right there. I have to get used to what the controls are like on here. And see what happens here. Yeah! And you can see immediately I'm on fire. One of the codes actually allows us to be on fire. Like right away. Alright, 
so we already got a tight amount of points with the computer team. And I was I was never good at this game, but I can tell you I always had fun playing it. Yeah! Oh my god, what a jerk. No way, that was a sick three-pointer. Yeah! This game is freaking awesome. Yeah, the Atari Jaguar version of this game looks really cool. Never played it, but it almost looks arcade perfect. Whoa! Holy crap, that would have been crazy. See, the computer is actually beating us here. Alright. Wow, what the hell was that? That was not cool. Looks like we got a three pointer right there. You can also hit players in this game. That was pretty cool. I love the uh, different dunks and all the different crazy stuff you can do in this game. And in some cases, you can also smash the uh, the backboard. And I've got the coaching tips, and this game was pretty much the uh, the granddaddy of all the arcade sports games. Uh, pretty soon you would end up have like an NFL blitz and all that type of stuff. So you can, oh, let's get over here. Wow, that was cheap. The button configurations kind of throw me off a little bit. No way! Got ourselves a dunk right there. Let's see if we can shatter the board. Whoa! What the? Oh, that was insane! That was like a mid court three pointer. That was crazy. And they actually went in too. Wow, another three-pointer. We're catching up. Let's see if we can get over here. Let's see, we got 23 versus, I think they have 28 points or something like that. Oh, no. Now he has 30 point, 31 points. Got a dunk right there. That looks pretty good. You can see that I'm pretty horrific at this game because most of the time my character's off the screen. I'm trying to. No! That was pretty good. Thank goodness that my uh, computer teammate is actually saving my ass. All right, so 30 to 33, we're starting to catch up a little bit. Oh, no way. So the uh, the Game Genie codes are definitely working on this game. They're not really doing a whole lot. But you're constantly on fire, as you can see here. Now uh, the computer is actually quite difficult.
And there we go, we got 34 to 37. And there's times where I am just not talking at all because I'm mesmerized by playing Sega Genesis. And now check this out. Now get over here. What the hell? Oh no, I did some goaltending. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Get the ball! I got two points right there, but the the computer guy is destroying us, as he as you can see. I tried to go ten again. Got three points. It's the only way that we're gonna catch up. Got another uh, three points. Let's see if we can catch up a little bit here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Looks like we might have got that. Did they give us the points for that? And one thing I like about this game also is you can play a nice quick ball game without you know, being here for hours. It's a great arcade game. Got some three points right there. We're starting to catch up a little bit. Let's see if we can actually win. And you can see that they got three points. Now, now I have to catch up even more. Got three points. And another three pointer. God. It's like this is. More three points. We're having a three point war. Oh, I thought that was a three-pointer at first. Dang. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if we can somehow do this. Alright, we're off by two points. We can probably do this. Let's go down here. All right, we're off by one point now. We might actually win. All right, what's the score? Oh, we're tied. Oh man, we need to get down there now. No way! Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. The one time that he didn't make the three point. Oh my god. Well, that game is definitely fun to play and very competitive. Now that is the final score right there, uh, 66 to 70. Good game. And if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane and you want to see more Sega Genesis Game Genie episodes, don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think. I personally think that the Game Genie really didn't do too much 
for this, uh, this game, to be honest. I mean, it was cool that you're on fire throughout the whole the whole game, pretty much. But that's pretty much all you can do. You know, uh, I also had a little bit of trouble getting this game working at first, but besides that, it's working now. Works really good. But yeah, the uh, the game genie won't really it won't really do that much for you. I mean, I wish they would have had a code for like three pointers straight across the court, no matter where you throw it from, it lands inside. That'd be pretty cool. Like something stupid like that, but yeah, this is uh, a great game nonetheless. And if you have a uh, friend over at the house, you want to play a classic arcade game, sports game, this is it.